Well, hello, fellow photographers. Dan here. I want to show you a cool new filter in Photo Raw 2026, and that's the new motion filter. It's great for simulating intentional camera movements, things like zooming, panning, or twisting the camera or lens. To use it, go to the Effects tab inside of Edit, click on the Filter button, and then select the motion filter. The motion filter combines different ways of blurring the photo along with built-in protection masks. So on a photo like this, let's say I want to give it kind of a zooming look so I can really see the people on the motorcycle or the moped moving quickly. So I'm going to switch over to the zoom option. I'm going to turn on protect and select the protect subject option. Bonk, there we go. We can see it's automatically created a mask for my subject. I'm going to use the set center option to move the center of the motion behind them. You can see I can move that anywhere within the photo. I'm going to put it right behind them. And then I'm just going to adjust the amount to something a little bit more modest. That first one was a little too high to be realistic. Something pretty low around three looks pretty good. Let me turn that on and off so you can see. There's before and there's after. It's a fun way to add a little bit more motion, a little bit more dynamism to your photo. Let me show you a couple more examples here. In this case, I want to add kind of a panning look where the subject is moving and I'm moving the camera along with the subject. So the background will be blurry, but the subject will be sharp. So I'm going to use the panning option. I can set the amount of blur that I want. I can control the angle of the motion. In this case, I'm going to keep it going right in line with the windows. And then I'm just going to turn on the protect option and we'll protect the subject. And boom, now we have the subject frozen, but the background blurry. You can see how it picked up both the reflection and the actual subject moving. And now I can adjust the amount of that motion that I want to add to my photo. Let's take a look at another one. In this case, I want to do the opposite. I want my subject to be in motion and my background to be frozen instead. So I'm going to turn my amount of panning blur up. And in this case, I will just say, rather than protecting my subject, I want to protect my background instead. So now the motion is on the motorcycle and the background is uh, frozen in time. And then using the feather slider, I can control how soft, how much extra motion I want around the edges of the motorcycle as it zooms along, just like that. There we go. Let me turn that on and off so you can see it before and after. Before and after, just like that. One more example so I can show you guys twisting. Using the twist option, you can actually simulate the object twisting or you twisting the camera. In this case, I'm going to use it to make it look like I was spinning the camera. So I can just use the twist option. And with angle, I can control how much spin I have. So it's not a zoom, it's more of a spinning blur. So I can control how much it spins. And I can also add a zoom to this at the same time or I could use them independently. So let's just go back and I could also use a zoom option here where I can zoom in or zoom out. And oftentimes combining these two together can create some pretty fun looks. I'm gonna protect my subject so that the subject stays clean and now we're only affecting the background. There we go, let's add a little bit of zoom and a little bit of twist, just like that. So you can have all sorts of creative, fun ways of changing the appearance of the photo. And if you really want to have some fun, just hit the random button and it will automatically try different combinations of settings until you can find one that you really dig. Just like that. And of course you can use the feather slider to add a little bit of motion to your subject as well. So this controls how hard the edge of the protection is. Increasing the feather adds a little bit of that blur to your subject as well. Let's look at the before and after. There's before and there's after. All right, there you go. The new motion filter, perfect for simulating intentional camera movement after the fact. Thanks for watching.